Morning, Diesel. Morning. It's actually afternoon, I know. How's it going, guys? It's another new day. We're here at home, getting stuff done. I'm gonna run into town right away because my, uh, what do you call it? External hard drive. Needs a new cord or something, I don't know, something technical and stuff. So I'm gonna go in there to the smart people and ask them, hey, fix it. And they're gonna do that, exactly. I'll deliver all the stuff they need, but when it comes to fixing it, uh, all that electronic stuff. So I'm not too sure what's wrong with it, but that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna head into Steinbeck. Diesel's gonna relax here. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else we're gonna do today. What do you wanna do today? So we just dropped that hard drive off at the the computer whizzes. They're gonna take a look at it. They say it should be good. It's probably just the plug, like I thought. So they're gonna fix that for me. It was on warranty, cha-ching. I like warranty. So now we gotta go get some gasoline. Put some gasoline in this baby. I burnt everything I had left. What happens, I guess. She's thirsty. She's really thirsty. It was like on the red line. It was dinging at me already. Put some gas in me. Put some gas in me. Fine. I'll feed you. Don't worry. I'll feed you. My Chevy. Uh, so, man, it feels weird filling up a gasoline vehicle because the nozzle is so tiny. I feel like I'm going to break it. <laughs> you see these big diesel ones? Oh, it smells different, too. I'm not used to that gasoline smell. I like diesel smell a whole lot better. So we're here at Superstore filling up in Steinbeck. I know. We go to Superstore for gas because it's the cheapest price in town. Usually I would fuel up a co-op. Mm -hmm. Felt like going here today, so why not? Uh, it's been a good day so far, just beautiful. It's cold, it's minus 15 outside. But as you can tell, there's like not a cloud in the sky. Great day to be alive. Great day. Look at all these people going about their business. Doing their thing. Good day to be in Steinbeck. Out of my way, Chevy. Thank you very much. Yummy. Thank you. You too. Super duper. All right, now that the, the day is uh, officially underway, now we got our Timmies. All right, so you guys have seen Steinbach before, right? Sort of my hometown. It's the capital of my region in Manitoba. It's not the capital of the province. It's the capital of this southeast Manitoba, or at least the biggest city. I don't know. Steinbach. It's German for Stony Creek. German city. It's a low German city. Low German Mennonite. Though it's uh, sort of morphed and evolved into uh, uh, a more multicultural city. Not as much as some other cities in Canada. You go to Toronto, you see every color of the rainbow represented in every race and ethnicity. Here it's still mostly Mennonite German. Like 90% I would say. But suddenly we're seeing more uh, uh, people coming in from different places, which is fine. Diesel. 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 Does this make you uncomfortable? Does this make you uncomfortable? <laughs> Gonna do me some picking later on yet. Mostly just been sitting here in my YouTube zone. That's how my days at home go usually. Starting a whole new uh, thing on my end here. Same thing for you guys. You guys won't notice the difference. But I've been talking about this a little bit. You may have noticed little changes in the beginning and ending of the episodes. Yeah, there's new things coming. New things coming. And uh, we're excited about it. I'm excited about it. And it's just a process of getting everything changed over right now. So 
a little bit of extra work. Yeah, that, it's washing that. It's just so much the same. So this is Chevy Town here. This is my cousin <laughs> Dustin. Hello. He is uh, he's my cousin. He's actually my double cousin. <laughs> Try and figure yeah. that one out. Yeah, have fun with that. <laughs> <laughs> it should be interesting. <laughs> you can do it on your own, but. But uh, yeah, so we're double cousins, and it's not as weird as it sounds. We're not that hillbilly. <laughs> His mom and my dad, brother and sister. His dad and my mom, brother and sister. There you go. You understand? Good. <laughs> so he's like the biggest Chevy fan. I know. He's got a Camaro. What, what year is your Camaro? 86. He's got an 86 Camaro IROC Z in his garage back there. And he's got a 2014 Silverado sitting out here looking all nice. And I had to show up with my little Chevy as well, but it looks kind of small in front of yours. <laughs> I got a family, so it makes more sense. Yeah, he's got, he's got kids and a wife. And I still haven't found a wife or kids, but they just got this nice little puppy here right now. Here's she. Hey, come say hi to everybody. There's a whole bunch of people who want to say hi to you. <laughs> say hi. No, not to me. Yeah. See, cameras don't bug you. Yeah. You don't care. Yeah. See, there you go. Diesel would love you. Okay. <laughs> Maybe for lunch or something. Yeah, maybe for lunch, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, me and Dustin uh, grew up hanging out all the time. And now uh, he was off in Alberta for the longest while. So we just got back to Manitoba and figured I'd drop in and say hi. His wife cooked a delicious supper. You guys should have seen it. It was steak and potatoes and other things that I didn't know, but it was great. <laughs> it's great. Cooking. Your wife knows how to make good food, man. Oh, I'm not skinny for a reason, so. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I actually lost a whole bunch of weight in Alberta, but came back and gave it back. <laughs> Who is this Diesel? Who is that? Well, let me get a sense of his name here. Um, let's see. Um, Diesel. Enough. I didn't get his name yet, though. Diesel. Good boy. Oh, Diesel, hey, can you back up for a little bit here? Can you back up? Leave him. Stay. Diesel, I know it's very, very hard. Leave him. That is your brother, Diesel. That's your brother. Hey, little guy. Who are you? Who are you? You are the newest member of our pack. We have finally, finally settled. Actually, we didn't settle at all. I should say we should, we have finally found the perfect match for our little family. This guy does not have a name yet. I'm working on it, but he is a male. He is a purebred German Shepherd. And he is a beast. <laughs> He's got bigger paws than you, Diesel. No, that's not fair, man. That's not very nice. My paws are just fine the way they are, man. No, it's just nothing wrong with my paws. Look <laughs> this guy. Hi. Everybody wants to meet you. The whole internet wants to meet you. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah, good boy. We're going to come up with a really big, scary, mean name for you. Yeah. I'm just going to try. Oh, look at you. Two brothers. Good boy, Diesel. Good boy. You keep them company and you show them the ropes, okay? But don't get weird. Diesel, that's getting weird. Diesel, that's get that's what I'm talking about. None of that weird stuff. Okay? You sniff and then you give them some space. And then you sniff and then you give them some space. And then you sniff and then you give them some space. Don't go all ham on his junk, man. Give him some space, he's new. Let him get acquainted. He knows it's your house. He knows you're the alpha. Yeah, until he gets big and grown up. Diesel, sniff and space. Sniff and then space, okay? Going for another little sniff. Going for another little sniff. Sniff, 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 and space. Good boy. Good boys, my pack. And I am the Alpha! Right guys?
Right? That is right. Bow at my feet. Bow at my feet. Because I am the king. Diesel. We've come up with a name for this guy. Tell me what you think, man. Tell me what you think. Thanks to my mom for actually coming up with this name. It has some meaning behind it, and uh, <laughs> she didn't even know that when she suggested it, but it fits perfectly. Meet Sergeant. We might call him Serge for short. His name will be Sergeant. The meaning behind that is I Googled it, and Google has all the answers, and Google is always right. In medieval European usage, a sergeant was any attendant or officer with a protective duty. Any medieval knight or military order of knighthood might have sergeant at arms, meaning servants able to fight if needed. So you are a sergeant. A servant willing to fight if needed. For the good of the kingdom. For God and country. Right? Right, man? Right? Sergeant? Sergeant? Hey, you! Your name is Sergeant. Do you like it? Oh, I think he likes it. Diesel. You think he likes it, man? You think he likes it? Do you like it? Do you like it? I think it's very nice, man. Very fitting. You're still my number one. Don't worry, bud. Don't worry. <laughs> what do you think, little guy? Sergeant. He doesn't speak English, man. He speaks German. He's a German Shepherd, man. You gotta speak German to him. Guten Tag. Oh, you're right. He speaks German. Makes sense. He's a German Shepherd. Told you, man, he doesn't speak English. He speaks German. Oh, you figured that all out by sniffing his bum? Wow. Dogs are incredible. Wow. Well, sniffers tell everything. I'm gonna have to learn German to talk to you. But your name will be Sergeant, nonetheless. Good boy. Oh, good boy. Oh, you like it? You like it? <laughs> my little sergeant. You're gonna be my big sergeant. You're gonna be my sergeant. And it's gonna be my weasel. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Diesel. I don't love you any less. You're a good boy. You take good care of sergeant, alright? You teach him the ropes. Be a good big brother. Where are you going, little guy? Where, where are you? What, what are you doing? I think he likes me. Sergeant. Oh, you responded. Sergeant. That is your name. And it is your duty. My sergeant. Wait, right, Diesel. Come here, Diesel. Don't sit way over there by yourself. Get over here, man. Come here. Come here, man. Get over here. Get over here, man. Come on, lay down. Come on, join the club, man. This is our pack. Pack, stay close together. Come on, lay down, man. Lay down. Oh yeah, good boy. Good boy. These are my boys. Yeah, my boys. <laughs> Haven't you sniffed him enough already, Diesel? <laughs> well, it's time for me to do what I do and work on some YouTube videos here. Got two videos to edit tonight yet. It's already 12.30 in the morning. So I'll be here a few hours yet. I woke up early this morning. Well, early for me at home. Woke up at like 8.30. So usually I'm up to like 4 or 5 in the morning when I'm at home and then I sleep till like noon. I don't like that schedule though. So I'm trying to be on a different schedule this time. But it looks like I'll be up late. Oh, I'm just getting back on my regular schedule. But tomorrow, I want to bring my semi into work. Uh, it's scheduled to get safety there on uh, Thursday. And then I'm going to get... Probably my mom to give me a ride back if she can, if she has time, and then I'm gonna go visit her for a bit and hang out there and catch up. And then 
Uh, we have one more day off, which is Thursday, and then Friday we're back at it. As long as there's no serious problems with the truck on the safety on Thursday, we'll be back out there on Friday. Got to get a few more miles in yet before the end of the month. Thanks for joining me today, guys. It's been great having you with me. I had a lot of fun today. It's been a long day, but uh, it was a lot of fun. So I'll see you tomorrow. Anytime after 4 a.m. Central Time, my vlog should be live on the internet. Unless if something goes wrong. My vlog, something went wrong with it today. It was a week ago for you. And uh, it's a bunch of confusion and it ended up not posting when it was supposed to. But every once in a while that happens. But anyways, guys, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Go down below to the description and see what you find. There might, might be vlogs from the past there. You can see what I've been up to over the past year. See you later.